Hello and welcome, gorgeous Scorpio. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own heart, so with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign or symbol, a message on the cards, and if it resonates, that is for you. You may also like to think of a question you'd like to receive guidance on or an answer to. By the end of the reading, the answer, the guidance will be revealed in the cards for you. Now, your first message is back to basics. Perhaps you're needing to detox, simplify your life, remove what no longer serves you, whether it's emotional or mental or physical. It's time to reduce, to clear away and to center. Re-energize your life. You will have more energy if you get back to basics. If you center yourself and if you simplify a situation or your life in general. Clear away what is not good for you. To create positive space so you can create harmony in your life and balance. Earth magic, nature, rituals and charms. You are going to be charmed this week, maybe by someone and what they say or do, or perhaps there will be another thing that happens. Um, but yes, I do see you will be charmed. There is also a connection to nature of importance, plants, animals, being in nature, connecting to the natural world is important. Keeping a ritual, keeping a routine is also needed or very helpful. Have courage. You know that you're in for a battle. You know you're in for a fight. But you do have strength. You will have strength. You'll be able to call on God for this strength. You'll be able to call on your angels for this strength. And you do have inner reserves of strength also. You're going to face something with a fearlessness. With a warrior spirit and heart. Heart, mind, transformative space. You make a difference. You will really make a difference with what you say or what you do this week. Maybe I feel this is actually in your workplace or your business. There's something important that you're going to transform in this space. Or what you put your mind to this week, you're going to really transform this space in your life. Becoming who you are meant to be. Manifest your dreams. Yes, I love this. Manifesting your dreams. What is your thing at the moment? What are you wanting to manifest? A dream comes true is what I'm seeing. You're putting the, the pieces together to make this um, happen for you. Uh, your prayers are going to be answered in this regard. It does look like it's in alignment with your highest path. Communication, protective frequencies. You are protected at the moment. Do not be fearful. You are moving into um, an energy of unknown or an energy of um, a combative energy of some kind, but you are courageous. You have fearlessness and you are protected. Communication or communion with spirit or communication with spirit. Asking your angels, okay, asking your angels what um, for protection, asking God for protection. Um, communion connection and um, new uh, unity um, in some way is also is also coming through so communication and uh, and communion or unity enlightened leadership mm, listen to the voice of the earth listen to the voice of your heart it's interesting we have the voice of the earth because we have earth magic here or, or earth energies um, stepping into leadership or you will have to take a leadership role I feel communication and communion connection is important uh, to do with this leadership because you are coming from a place of enlightenment when you take this stance or when you move into this role in the week ahead whether it's in your family dynamic whether it's in your work environment Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So pride is good. If you have had an achievement recently, make sure that you take time out to congratulate yourself. 
or do something special. It's a self-care thing. But also, you know, if there's too much pride, maybe you are seeing this in another person um, where I feel a little bit of arrogance is coming into play. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So this week and in the weeks ahead, you're not only removing um, and detoxifying from negative people and situations, you're in, in fact going to be attracting the positive ones that serve your highest purpose. Yes, exactly. Purpose, your highest purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So things become clear in this regard. If you're worried or confused or anxious about something, you will find a purpose in this um, or a reason um, for this to happen or in this situation. There may be fear, um, but you're moving forward with fearlessness, with a warrior spirit. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love right now. Okay, so you're going to be tested or you are being tested at the moment. Um, you are being tested that uh, God and spirit and um, the angels are aware that you're going to step up. You're going to break through. You're going to have a, a positive outcome here and your choices make all the difference right now. There's a door opening, an opportunity for you right here. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most danger, uh, damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has a capacity to heal and transform. So forgiveness of yourself or someone perhaps um, is needed to help move you forward in a positive way. And you can choose forgiveness. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. So there is a message here. Um, synchronicity has happened and will happen in your life. You are being guided to a particular person, friendship um, or connection. Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground and you know you can do it and you know that by doing so you will be the victor. So there is going to be a need or maybe there already has, maybe it's already happened where you will need to stand up for yourself or stand your ground. So we have a new beginning here. The Ace of Action. This cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities. So a new opportunity, that door opening for you. Related to your creativity, perhaps, or your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. So have confidence in your abilities. It might be time to review and to contemplate a situation. You've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. Five of thought. The path you are on seemed like the right one. Okay, this is this might be a recent thing or it might be a few years ago, but it does seem like you really believed you were on the right path towards something. Um, but now, you know, you've run into a challenge. You've run, you run into a challenge because there is actually a better direction for you and it will make you much happier in the end. So you need to trust in that. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. Just let go. Allow the energy to flow and let go. 
let go. Releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow this situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. And the messenger of abundance. Wonderful news is coming your way. It might be regarding your career. Maybe there's a new job or a promotion or acceptance into a school uh, comes into your life. Uh, but uh, yeah, wonderful news is going to come through. You might feel ready to do something that's challenging but also fulfilling. And this situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and sometimes mischievous in this person who may be you, you're feeling youthful, optimistic, and very clever. And another messenger, so definitely news, uh, a message or an announcement is, uh, or a reveal is going to happen. A new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. Something new that's going to stimulate you mentally. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans, so try and be flexible. Review all documents carefully. You know will meet or ask someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. So just be aware of that in your communication with someone this week. Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is maybe check in with your heart, see if this resonates for you or not. Um, it looks like it's not set in stone. So if this this question is uh, someone else is involved here, their actions, choices and decision really, really come into play for the outcome. Okay, so it's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope you have a fantastic week. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.